we are the unique, beautiful, all loving soul that's you. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Julia and thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today's class is a flowy and melty stretch and flow. So we flow, we warm up, we do lots of forward folds for the girl who requested forward folds. This one's for you. I will tag you. I can't remember your name right now, but you inspired me. So thank you. <laughs> for props today, you'll need two yoga blocks or two blankets or firm pillows will work just fine. So go grab those and then meet me on the mat. <laughs> Beginning today in a comfortable seat, you can sit on your heels or sit cross-legged, whatever feels better for you. And when you feel ready, close down the eyes, palms down to come more within. Breathe naturally and bring your awareness from the outside world onto your breath. As you inhale, your belly expands. And as you exhale, your belly button draws towards your spine. Your belly comes in. See if you can slow down your breathing and lengthen your breath. And then let's take a moment to just remember that we are not our bodies or our jobs or what we own, but we are the essence within. We are the soul that I believe existed before and will exist after. We're the love that we feel when we hold someone we care about close or that joy and excitement when we're doing something that just feels so happy to us. All those special little, little things make us who we are. So let's hold on to that feeling as we begin class today. Let's exhale together to unite the breath. Slow inhale. One, two, three. Pause at the top of the breath, nice and full. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Pause at the bottom. Keeping this nice, slow quality of breathing, let's blink open our eyes and come to stand at the front of our mat. Lifting up those toes and then spreading them, grounding down through those legs. Big inhale, arms come up to sky, spine lengthens. Exhale, deep bend in the knees, forward fold. Go ahead and Grab opposite elbows, just hanging here. And when I say deep bend, nice deep bend. And that's to protect our low back. Release your neck, let everything hang. And continue with that nice, slow quality of breathing. Tail may tilt up towards the sky a little bit more. And on your next exhale, release fingertips to your shins or to the earth, wherever they land. Inhale, halfway lift, hands slide up the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, by your side. Inhale, right arm comes up and over, side body stretch. Ground down through the opposite foot. And we switch. Nice and flowy. Next inhale. Both arms reach up. We grow, we lengthen. Exhale, hands through heart and by your side. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Neck is the last thing to release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back through plank. Knees lower. We lower all the way down, all the air out. Elbows stay drawn in. 
Inhale, cobra, heart opens. Exhale, release. Tops of toes are pressing firmly into the earth. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, pushing up through all fours. Exhale, let's just set up here. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, right fingertips reach to the sky. Nice twist. Exhale to the earth. Inhale, left fingertips. Exhale, release. Inhale, walk those hands forward, one hand width, tuck the toes. Exhale, up and over, down dog. Walk it out right away, deeply bending one knee and then the other, and coming nice and high onto those fingertips as you switch sides. Moving with your breath in your own time. Meeting in a Static down dog, nice bend in the knees, tail tilts up, we exhale. Inhale, weight shifts forward to plank, nice and strong, pushing up through those hands. Exhale, up and over, down dog. Inhale, plank. We're moving through for three more. Exhale, dog. Inhale, plank, really push up, shoulders around, our core is drawing, our belly button is drawn towards the spine. Moving through in your own time. And last one, inhale to plank if you're not already done. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right toes float, hips stay square. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Really see if they can touch. Inhale, we expand, leg floats. Exhale, touch. Last one, inhale, expand. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant that foot, come nice and light onto the fingertips. Left hip draws back, right hip draws forward to square it off. Strong through those legs, lengthen through the spine. And then we gently release the back knee to the earth. <laughs> Coming into a nice low lunge here. We release, we let our weight be supported by the earth, by our hands, by our feet. And if you feel ready, you can close down the eyes right away, getting right into that stretch. We're going to hold here for five slow breaths. Really try to release any holding or gripping in the hips. And with every exhale, feel like you're melting closer to the earth. As you inhale, visualize your right hip growing forward, your left hip rolling back. Exhale, release deeper. Two more breaths. Next inhale, let's straighten out that front leg, flexing and especially drawing the baby toe back to get into that calf and hamstring, coming into our half split. We're gonna just Pulse here, little baby pulses, kind of rolling that heel forward and back. You'll really feel it. Keep the spine nice and long. Draw the left hip forward, right hip back to even it out. You'll really feel it when you square off the hips. For five, four, three, two. Really draw that baby toe back. And one, we release into the low lunge. And we straighten the leg once more. This time we're pointing as hard as you can and flexing. 
for 10. 10 counts. I won't count, but <laughs> I'll check it. Really point, really plus. Remember to keep breathing. Again, you can draw that left hip back to get a little bit deeper. You'll feel that in the IT band on the outside of the right leg as well. Actually, just feel this one everywhere on the right leg. It's so good. Three more. And gently melt back into that low lunge. We're going to walk the front foot over to the outer edge of our mat, coming into lizard, a nice wide low lunge. And you can very gently sway here side to side, or you can remain static, staying up on a prop on your hands, or coming down to forearms, whatever feels right for you today. You know your body best. Always listen to it, always tune in. We're never forcing and stretching. We love that deep sensation, but we're never forcing or cranking and there's no pain. That helps our body to learn that we are good to it. and It's safe to really release further. Two more breaths here. Really feel your belly expand as you inhale and melt a little bit deeper as you exhale. Next inhale, firmly coming back up, walking that foot in, tucking back toes. We inhale to prepare nice and strong. Exhale, chaturanga, stepping back through plank. Inhale, up dog, heart opens. Exhale, down dog. Coming on to the other side. Inhale, left toes float. Exhale, release. Knee to nose, <laughs> almost forgot that one. Inhale, they extend. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, to extend. Exhale, I'm slipping all over the place. Knee to nose, coming into your nice low lunge. But first, we come light on fingertips. Legs are strong, back leg is strong. Left hip back, right hip forward. Spine lengthens. Gently float down. Float, float, float. I love my favorite words in yoga, floating and melting. And we release that left hip flexor right away. Maybe you close down your eyes. Taking five nice long breaths here. Next inhale, visualize your left hip opening forward, your right hip rolling back. They're growing away from each other. And exhale, the body really releases and melts deeper. Release any tension in the face, between the eyebrows, release the jaw. We're happy. <laughs> we're, we're nice and floaty. <laughs> melty, floaty and melty, that's what I'll call the class. <laughs> Final deep breath here. Let's inhale together through the nose. Exhale. Next inhale, we straighten out that front leg and we're coming right into our little pulses. So spine stays long, left to back, right to forward. And we're gently ah, pulsing here, I feel it, for 10. Rolling on that heel. Using the breath to breathe through the strong sensation. Draw the baby toe back towards your body. For five more. Three, 
two, and one. We melt into our low lunge. That feels good for the break. And we straighten up again. Straighten that front leg. This time we're pointing and flexing for 10. Really point, feel it all the way down the shin along the top of the foot, and then really flex. Maybe that right hip rolls forward slightly as you point to get even deeper <laughs> into all the sensations. For three, two, and one. Nice low lunge. Walking it out to the left side of the mat, coming into lizard. Using your props, staying up nice and supported on your hands or coming down to your forearms and one side may be different than the other. That is okay. Swaying if this feels good or just holding static, nice and soft, closing down the eyes. Three deep breaths here. Last breath, visualize your spine lengthening all the way out through the neck, out the crown of the head. And exhale, release deeper. Hips are opening. Inhale, pushing back up nice and strong. Walk that foot in. <laughs> Tucking back toes. Step back, we plank. Inhale, we expand. We're strong, pushing up through the hands. Exhale, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're going to keep a deep bend in those knees. Walk up to stand. Up to the top of our mats, I should say. Up to forward fold. Exhale, release all the air. Out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You might feel looser and longer from the first part of class. Inhale, arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale, hands through heart. And by your side. Inhale, deep bend in those knees. Bum travels back, coming into chair. Fingertips reach forward. Belly button draws towards the spine right away, coming out of any back bend. We're holding here for three nice, smooth breaths. Lift, lift up off those toes to get further back into those glutes, into those quads. And visualize your arms lengthening as your tail grows, tucks under, but your glutes travel back. <laughs> Option two, inhale, we expand those arms, exhale, they reach back. Inhale, we expand, little Pilates, exhale, back. Pilates, inspiration, inhale, expand, exhale, back. Let's add two more. Inhale, expand, we're almost done. Exhale, reach back, grow. Inhale, expand, last one. Exhale. We reach back. Inhale this time, we expand all the way up. <laughs> Thank goodness. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. By your side. Inhale to chair. We're almost done, you guys. This is the last round. Belly button to spine. Exhale, palms connect. We twist to the right. That heart peels open to the right. Right elbow grows up and back. Shoulder opens. Holding here for three breaths. Left knee draws back so it's in line with the right. Stay nice and light on those toes. One final inhale. Lengthen through the spine. 
exhale, twist deeper. Inhale, back through center, stay deep bend in those knees, we're almost done. Exhale, we twist left, my quads are dead. I did a very quad heavy Pilates class this morning. So if I can do this, you can. <laughs> Draw that right knee back so it's in line with the left. Heart opens towards the sky. Left shoulder opens. Two more breaths here. Slow down your breathing, you can do it. Final inhale, we expand. Exhale, we twist our dip. Inhale, through chair, we come all the way up. Exhale, release. <laughs> Last little flow, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back through plank. Knees down. And we come to swivel onto our bums. <laughs> Beautiful. Knees are bent. Arms reach forward. You really reach. We really round through that spine. And we're going to lower nice and slow for 10. Nine. Feel resistance. So as you lower, your fingertips reach away from you. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walking those heels in. They're just beyond the reach of your fingertips. Hip width coming into some bridges. Let's exhale together. Inhale, hips rise nice and slowly. Exhale, they lower. That was a little bit fast. Let's slow it down. We're coming into cool down. Let's inhale and rise for one, two, three. Maybe squeezing the glutes at the top. Exhale, lower for three, two, and one. Inhale, option two. Lift those arms with the hips. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Good. Squeeze, arms lengthen to the sky. Exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. You're moving through, honey. Another favorite thing I say. Let's continue for three more rounds. You can go in your own time. Really try to move the arms and the legs in unison, like they're connected by strings or by the magic thread that the grandmother gives the granddaughter in the Goblin movie, which I will obviously link now that I said it. <laughs> I watched it recently, it was very good. Princess and the Goblin, that's what it is. And coming into your very last round of counts, you can join me if you'd like. Let's exhale to unite the breath. Inhale for one, two, three, four, Five, we reach up with those fingertips, we squeeze those glutes, pause, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let those knees gently come in to meet one another. Feet are wide and take a moment here. We're going to finish up with a final bridge, bridge hold. So I'll give you two options. If you feel ready, bring those feet back to hip width, just out of reach of fingertips. Option one, let's inhale together, hips lift. We can interlace the fingertips, walk in on the shoulders to get a little bit higher. And we visualize our thighs are growing out to the wall across from you. Our knees are lengthening out. Holding here. Draw that belly button towards the spine. 
and smile. <laughs> That's all she wants. Gently release if you'd like to come with me into a full wheel, only if that is something that you already practice, because we're coming right into it today. Firmly planting our palms. Let's exhale together. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, we gently lift up first onto the head and then all the way up. Hold in here to feel nice and easy. Nice and comfortable. Two more breaths or whatever your body is telling you to do. And no matter where you are, you're growing out through those thighs and knees. Final breath in. Exhale, we gently lower with control, nice and slowly, head taps down if you're in wheel, followed by hips to the earth. Knees meet. Once again, feet widen, releasing that low back. And then gently bringing the knees to the chest. Gentle sway side to side. Should feel really nice, especially since our hips are nice and open from today's class. And meeting in center, let's bring that forehead towards the knees to connect. Countering the back bend we just did. Let's extend arms overhead, toes to sky, flex and point for five, reaching with the fingertips for toes reach up, 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 our legs are growing. Three, that's look pretty. <laughs> Two and one. Right leg stays up, left leg slowly releases to the earth for three. Two and one. Right knee comes towards the chest. We're coming into some gentle twisting. <laughs> right knee releases over to the left. Arms open, twisting right. That right shoulder stays in connection with the earth. So use a little prop under your knee if you need. Closing the eyes. Three slow breaths here. Next inhale, gently bringing those knees back to the chest. We extend toes to sky, fingertips overhead. And let's see if we can get the leg right. This side, no, opposite. Okay, right toes grow up to the sky. Sorry, left toes grow up to the sky. Right toes lower for three, two, and one. Left knee comes to the chest, arms, really, arms open, and we twist. You don't need my cues. I'm falling off the deck. Keep that left shoulder in contact with the earth. So we want to do this to really get the benefits of the twist in the abdomen and the intestines and really get those nice digestive benefits. So if our shoulders coming up, we're not getting as deep. Two more breaths. Gently coming back to center, giving those knees a final hug, maybe coming into a happy baby to finish, or taking any final movements that your body's telling you to do. Take your time. And when you feel ready, resting in Shavasana. I'm gonna slide up because I'm totally off. Legs are wide, arms are wide, palms up. Let's lift that left leg. Visualize someone pulling it out and we lower. Repeat with the right, lift it off just a touch off the mat. Pull it out, it lengthens and lower. Repeat with the left hand. We lift, lengthen, nice and gentle, lower. 
right hand. And then visualize your neck lengthening out as well. Release the space between your eyebrows. Eyes feel like they're melting away from each other. Jaw unclenches. Lips gently part. Shoulders melt into the earth, nice and heavy. Heart opens to the sky, opens to the world. Your heart feels warm and happy. Arms are heavy, legs are heavy. The earth supports you. Staying here for as long as you need. Whenever you feel ready, gently blink open your eyes. Bring those knees to your chest. Roll it to one side. Pushing up. And let's finish class today the way we started in a nice comfy seat. This time let's flip our palms up to receive the beautiful energy and love from the world. And let's remember that we are what's within. We are the unique, beautiful, all loving soul. It's you. <laughs> So give yourself some love. Thank yourself for taking this time to reconnect with your true self today. And I hope that you can move through your day with peace, with love. Thank you for practicing with me.